Are you dreaming of your next vacation but worried about the cost of flights? It turns out there are several clever ways to snag those airfare deals that may seem hidden at first glance. From choosing the right days to book to understanding the perks of different airlines, we've gathered some top tips that could save you a bundle. Keep watching to find out how you can outsmart the system and book your next flight without breaking the bank. Twelve. Avoid weekend booking. When booking flights, it's a good idea to avoid doing it on the weekend. Many people are off work and use this time to plan trips and buy tickets. Because so many people are looking for flights on Saturdays and Sundays, the prices might be higher. Instead, try to book your flights on a Tuesday or Wednesday. Fewer people are buying tickets on these days, so airlines might lower their prices to encourage more bookings. This means you could find cheaper flights. By choosing to look for and buy your airplane tickets during the middle of the week, you have a better chance of getting a good deal. This is a simple way to save money just by picking the right day to book your flight. 11. Consider budget airlines. When you're looking for cheap flights, think about flying with budget airlines. Budget airlines are companies that offer flights for a lot less money than the bigger airlines. They can do this because they keep things simple and charge extra for things like choosing a seat, bringing a suitcase, or getting snacks during the flight. Before you book a flight with a budget airline, make sure you check all the extra costs. Even though the ticket price is low, the cost for bags or choosing a seat might add up. But if you're okay with just a small bag and don't mind where you sit, these airlines can save you a lot of money. So when you want to fly somewhere without spending a lot, look at the prices from budget airlines. They can be a really good deal if you travel light and flexible. 10. Book Connecting Flights Sometimes, booking two separate flights to reach your destination can be cheaper than getting one direct flight. This is called booking connecting flights. For example, if you want to fly from one city to another far away, it might cost less to fly to a city in between first and then take another flight from there to your final destination. When you look for tickets, try checking if two flights with a stop in the middle cost less than a straight flight, but make sure you leave enough time between the two flights. This is important because if your first flight is late, you don't want to miss your second flight. This way of booking can save you money, but it might take longer to get where you're going. It's like taking a little detour to save some cash. 9. Check for airline sales and discounts. To find cheap flights, it's smart to watch for sales and discounts from airlines. Airlines often have special sales where they lower the prices on flights for a short time. To make sure you don't miss these deals, you can follow airlines on social media like Facebook or Twitter. They usually post about sales there. You can also sign up for their email newsletters. When you're on the airline's email list, they send you messages about discounts, special offers, and sometimes even coupons that you can use to get cheaper flights. When you see a sale or get a discount offer, check if it fits your travel plans and book quickly because these deals can go away fast. This way you can save money on your trip by catching the flight prices when they are lower during these sales. 8. Leverage Airline Points and Miles when you fly a lot with the same airline, you can join their frequent flyer program. This is like a club where you earn points every time you fly. These points are special because you can use them later to get free flights or upgrades to better seats. Also, if you have a credit card connected to the airline, you can earn points when you buy things with the card. This helps you collect points faster. Using your points can make flights cheaper or even free. It's like getting a reward for flying a lot with the same airline. To make the most of this, sign up for the frequent flyer program before you book your flight. Then whenever you fly, you'll earn points. Over time, these points add up and you can use them to save money on future trips. 7. Consider nearby airports. When you're trying to find cheaper flights, think about using airports that are close to each other. Sometimes the airport a little farther away from your home or your destination might have cheaper flights. This happens because different airports have different amounts of flights and different airlines. Bigger airports might have more flights and more competition, which can mean lower prices. But sometimes smaller airports have deals too. For example, if you're flying to a big city that has more than one airport, check the prices for all the airports in that city. You might find that flying into or out of a different Different airport saves you money. Always compare the prices for different airports near where you want to go and choose the one that offers the cheapest flight. This can be a smart way to save on your travel costs. 6. Use multiple flight comparison websites. 
When you're searching for cheap flights, it's a good idea to use different websites that compare flight prices. These websites are called flight comparison sites. They help you see the prices for the same flight on different airlines all at once. Since each site might have different deals or special prices, checking more than one can help you find the best price. Popular comparison sites are Kayak, Expedia, and Google Flights. You just enter where you want to go and when, and these sites show you a list of flights and how much they cost. By looking at a few different sites, you can make sure you're getting getting the lowest price available for your trip. This helps you save money by choosing the cheapest flight from all the options these sites show you. 5. Set Price Alerts when you're looking for cheap flights, setting up price alerts can be very helpful. Price alerts are like helpful reminders that tell you when the cost of a flight goes up or down. You can set these alerts on websites that sell airline tickets. Here's how it works. You tell the website where and when you want to fly, and then it watches the prices for you. If the price of the ticket drops, the website will send you an email or a message to let you know. This way, you don't have to keep checking the prices yourself. You can just wait for the alert to tell you when it's a good time to buy your ticket at a lower price price. This makes it easier to get the best deal without having to watch the prices all the time. 4. Book early but not too early. When you want to buy cheap flight tickets, it's smart to book them at the right time. If you book too early, like several months before your trip, you might miss lower prices that come later. But if you wait too long, the tickets might get more expensive as the flight date gets closer. For flights within your own country, try to book your tickets about one to three months before you plan to travel. For flights to other countries, it's usually best to book two to six months in advance. This timing helps you catch good deals. Airline companies often change their prices, so booking during this window can give you a better chance to find a lower price before the tickets start getting pricey again. 3. Choose cheaper days to fly. If you want to save money on airplane tickets, try to fly on days when fewer people are traveling. Usually, flights in the middle of the week, like Tuesday or Wednesday, are cheaper than flights on the weekend. Also, flying early in the morning or late at night can cost less because not as many people want to travel at those times. When you're looking to book a flight, check prices for different days of the week and different times of the day. You might find that changing your flight by a day or two or choosing an earlier or later flight can make your ticket less expensive. This helps you get the best deal by picking a less busy time to fly. 2. Be flexible with dates. When you're trying to find cheap flights, being flexible with your travel dates can help you save money. Airplane ticket prices change a lot depending on the day you want to fly, the time of the year, and if it's near a holiday. If you can choose different days to travel, you might find a cheaper flight. Some websites let you look at a calendar with prices on different days. This way, you can easily see which day has the cheapest ticket. If you don't have to travel on a specific day, you can pick the day that costs the least. This is a smart way to plan your trip because you get to travel when it costs less. 1. Utilize incognito mode. When you want to find cheap flights online, it's a good idea to use incognito mode on your internet browser. This is a special setting that keeps websites from seeing what you've looked at before. Normally, if you keep checking the price of a flight, the website might show you a higher price because it knows you're interested. But by using incognito mode, the website can't remember what you've looked at, so it won't change the prices based on your searches. This way, you can see the lowest prices available without the website trying to make you pay more. To use incognito mode, you can open your browser like Chrome or Safari, and look for an option that says New Incognito Window or Private Browsing. So this was all about today's video. Do let us know your thoughts and comments. Please subscribe to Travel the World. Thank you for watching.